All right, so this is going to be about general software, so not necessarily software that I use for software development. And also I decided to define it as software that I use to be more productive in terms of like time management. So there are other apps that I use like Instagram and such, but I won't go through them because I don't really see the point. Okay, so like I said, when it comes to software for productivity, I tend to focus on time management. So the first app that I'll talk about is Time2. This is a time tracker app, which means that I can add activities and then I can add tasks to those activities. And then I can track the time spent on each task by just starting a timer. And then the app itself kind of summarizes the total time spent on each task or activity and then displays it in a very neat uh, bar chart or pie chart. This is super helpful for being able to track where my time is actually going. And without this app, I would just have to guess where, how much time I spend on things. And my guessing is mostly very inaccurate. So with this app, I'm able to keep track of exactly how much time I spend on each task. But other than just seeing where my time goes, I also use this app to increase my productivity. And the way that I do this is by at the start of each week, I review the past week and look at how much time I had planned to spend on things compared to how much time I actually ended up spending on those things. And then I'm able to make adjustments to my routines and my habits for the coming week. So that this way I'm kind of able to slowly figure out what routines and what habits uh, make me as productive as possible. And the way that I measure productivity is just by time spent on things. The app also helps me be able to make better estimations of how much time things will take. So I've tracked so many things now that, for instance, I know that a YouTube video on average will take me about eight hours to film and edit and just complete. And I also know like how much time different types of apps will take to build. And all this is really helpful when it comes to estimating prices of different tasks. So for instance, if I know how much time that will take, then all I need to do is just figure out what an hourly rate would be that I would be happy with. So basically, if you're just to take away one thing from this video, then I would say this app, just look into it because I think it's really, really good. The second app is called Rescue Time, and this app is pretty similar to the previous one, but this one tracks your time automatically. So I install it, and then it tracks the time that I spend on my computer or on my phone where the app is installed as well. And what this does for me is it kind of gives me a less detailed overview of where my time goes. You don't see as many details, so basically at the end of the week you might see that you spent 5 hours on YouTube and 14 hours in Visual Studio Code or whatever. So basically it knows what software you used, but not what you used that software for. Which basically means that if you have two projects that use the same software, then basically the app would summarize that into one task. So you wouldn't be able to see how much time was spent on each individual task, just how much time was spent using that software in general. So I still think this has value, especially when used in conjunction with time two. So basically you'd be able to see how much time you used productively and then how much time you used unproductively. And then with the time two app, you'd be able to look into what exactly you did with those productive hours. The third app that I use is Evernote and uh, basically I think Tim Ferriss said something like uh, that Evernote is like his second brain and I would say that it's the same for me like I write down everything in there like random thoughts and ideas, uh, video ideas, all my video scripts are also in Evernote. Now something that I've tried with Evernote that hasn't really worked for me is creating to-do lists. And basically, I've had times when I've been able to stick to my to-do lists, but they're rare and far apart. And I found that if there's more than three things on my to-do list, then I tend to end up getting very little done. And in general, I tend to write up too many things on my to-do lists. And I kind of have a hard time defining how much effort goes into each task, so it ends up being more tasks than I can actually handle. That's what I believe is my main problem, because if you're able to kind of estimate how much effort in time and energy it will take to complete certain tasks, 
then it will be easier to create a more reasonable to-do list. Because for me, I either ended up writing down things that took me so little effort that I was done by 8 a.m. Or I ended up writing down things that took so much effort that I wasn't able to complete a single task. But this is an area that has improved since using the Time2 app. So now I'm better able to estimate kind of how much time and energy it will take to complete certain tasks. But I still tend to end up less productive when I use to-do lists. So I just tend not to use them. And regarding to-do lists, the fourth app is Google Calendar, which kind of for me works as my to-do list, but it is more vague and more specific at the same time, because it's more vague in what I'm actually supposed to be doing, but it's more specific in terms of the time constraint, so I know between what times I'm doing a certain task. So the way that I use it is I use different colors for different categories of tasks. So for instance, red will be YouTube and green is personal projects regarding like coding. And then blue is exercise and gray is school stuff and yellow is for random activities. And then I use names of different tasks in a relatively generic way. So. Uh, video script, exercise, edit video, film video. It isn't super specific in terms of video description, but it is more specific when it comes to the time constraints. And now I don't always stick to the schedule that I set up. So if I don't always stick to it, then why use it? Well, I mostly use it to kind of get an idea of the time that I have to play around with and also to kind of visualize my day. Without the calendar, I often become too optimistical about how much time I have. But with the calendar, I'm able to see like, oh, I need to be there at 10. That means I only have two hours to do X. Then at the end of the week, I just look back at the calendar and look at how much time I plan to spend on things and try to compare that with the Time2 app to see how much time I actually spent on things. And then I just try to adjust accordingly. So that's the software that I use every day for increased productivity. Hopefully I was able to give you some ideas on some apps to get or maybe on how to use some of these apps. And uh, that's it for this one.